You mean aliens like from outer space, not illegals? I don't want to talk about this. Are you doing like a couple of years of like bestiality? Okay, yeah. and butt play and somebody threw their <laughs> stained underwear and wow. hit me in the chest. Gravity is a bitch. Do I believe in climate change? Yeah, so he jumped off the 10th floor. Whoa. <laughs> You're still fat. You yeah. think he could be the president? Cheat on my wife with a Chinese woman? I'm pretty sure he's gonna be sucking on some feet today. Who are you asking? What the f is happening? What's your obsession with white people? You did f Berkey? I'm saying I would. Oh, okay. You would have a better life if your name was Osama bin. I want to talk about better picks, the easiest and best way to play fantasy sports. We have the biggest multipliers up to 100 times your money. Prize picks and underdog only have 20 to 25 times multipliers. We have the fastest payouts, no pushes. The list goes on and on on why better picks is the best. And do y'all see what Tyreek Hill is doing right now? That man is incredible. And if you're not taking more than, what are you doing? Download the better app today and start making your lineups with the cheetah in them. Go click the link. So I, I tried to do as much research as possible on mm -hmm. you, um, as you know, typical. Um, sure. I found out that you've had chlamydia 60 times and oh, 60? that you're out of your fucking mind. <laughs> Was it the first? And that you're in a Hall of Fame basketball thing thing for your college. So yeah. fucking that's amazing. That's it, baby. Yeah. See, there you go. I'm black on paper. <laughs> <laughs> See? That is Woo! true. <laughs> You might be able to say the word. Yeah, yeah. Really? Yes. Oh my God. Just at any any moment when you just feel like it fits and flows, just <laughs> yeah, just drop it. Drop it out. All right, good. What you have one time though? Uh, you're gonna give me one time it's, pass. It's one time use. Nice, dude. Yeah. I have a few. I have a lot of actual passes for, over the years. I've collected them. I've been collecting them from, oh, from, oh, from, dude, from so many people, man. It's wild. So, <laughs> yeah. are you like stockpiling yeah. them for one yes. moment have when you, you get really them? mad to just? No, I haven't used them. I haven't been using them yet. Um, I've gotten, uh, yeah, I've gotten. I got a couple from Kramer. You know, Michael Richardson. He gave me a couple. I got a couple from uh, mostly white people. I was oh. gonna say these I, aren't black I people. Don't, are oh, they? thank <laughs> you, Celsius. I appreciate it. Thank you. I, I don't. Thanks, man. It's cool. Oh yeah, is that one a cold one? Oh. Yeah. Appreciate it. Burns man. body fat. We're filming yeah, a show been, here, though. I've been drinking these for a few, drink these? They, few they, weeks straight. Are they like energy drinks? Yeah. Okay. I actually don't need any more. I'm fucking booted up. I have no food yeah, in Yeah, I had stomach. a coffee. I don't know if this is all New York coffee, but I had a coffee this morning, and my heart wasn't beating. My whole chest right. and rib cage was beating. I felt my heart beating really? my whole torso. Okay. So this probably is a bad idea. But are you I don't sure? Know. Is, is, is it the coffee, or did you get a booster recently? No, no. <laughs> he's I feel like all the kids. Yeah. You got a guy's got a lot of them. <laughs> He's on, he's, yeah, on, you he's on Molly. You're on boosters. Yeah, yeah you probably, <laughs> you you probably seem like the type of <laughs> get your, like the COVID vaccine. Yes. Right. Well, I'm glad that I seem like that type of person. I didn't get okay. vaxxed, actually. I didn't. Did you <gasps> get the vaccine? Bro, you didn't? No, no. No, we, we can't do this political stuff. <laughs> oh, that's Bro, look right, at yeah. the shirt I'm fucking wearing. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. That's it, bro. We can't do this political I stuff. I just work here. I heard you're a big RFK No, I was forced guy. to wear this yeah. shirt by the Illuminati, so. RFK. That's it, baby. He sells a lot of merch, that guy. Yeah. Donnie T. Big merch mover. Hell yeah. Big guy, too. 6'4", six, 6'5", six, big boy. Do you think he's hung? Do I think he has a, a big dick? Donald Trump? Um, I would say yes. I do think yes. Bro, and I, and I, but I don't think he's sure. circumcised. I think he's uncircumcised. Bro, we were just Is talking about this. 100%. We were just talking about, about uncircumcised this. people. I don't well, mind uncircumcised penises. Um, typically in porn, I... Don't I fast forward through them? But I don't mind. I don't mind um, an uncircumcised penis. They're rare these days. But uh, yeah, but I, I got circumcised. My my I still have the foreskin in case I want to go back. Well, yeah, I, I still he have mine saying, attached actually. Really? Yeah, yeah. It's like wow. having like a little hoodie. It's cool, but like it, right. it's it's pretty. It's like you know I get blood flowing and it looks nice. It's like half and half. Yeah, we, and he was saying that our dicks are two-tone. It's like two, having a two-tone two dick. Two-tone dick, yes, like because we're circumcised, yeah. Yeah, they are, they are, I get it. You know, it's, it's like a two-tone rolly. My, like. It's not my dick. I, my balls are two different colors. <laughs> that's not Is that good. weird? No, that's the chlamydia. That's the 60 okay. cases of chlamydia. I, yeah. yeah, you should get that checked out. <laughs> my ball, one's yellow, one's blue. It's like Did the Ukrainian you get vaxxed? flag. Did you get vaxxed? Oh, nice. Wow. Huh? Okay. Did you get vaxxed? Yes. Yeah, we're all, yes, I did. We're it all vaccinated. Be, <laughs> might be the vax. Big Mike's been getting vaccinated uh, since. Uh, oh yeah. my god! <laughs> I just got the joke. Oh, no. He used to do heroin. The guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. he's a right. raging fucking heroin. I know, man. You used to work with kids with autism, and we. 
I still do. <laughs> oh. <laughs> So it's not gonna it's funny air. because that was actually written about you the 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 latter half yeah of that it says pretty is. sure jake is on the spectrum jake actually has autism do you really there you go flying baby we're pretty sure that's gonna be trouble to say but we're pretty sure nice somewhere on that good he doesn't consider think, other people's feelings that's the main well thing. the thing is autistic now it's like everybody's doing it you know everybody's <laughs> autistic it's like the new wave it's like a big tiktok trend it's a right big now thing everybody's autistic and um you know, when I was younger, it was more rare, but now it's like everybody's, you know, in the autism army, which is, you know, it's a good army, man. They'll fucking hit you with Rubik's cubes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bro, I don't want to do this show anymore. <laughs> I mean, we got the clip, so we could stop. I don't. We, <laughs> I don't, we literally. Uh, I don't. We went viral like nineteen times. Already. I don't want to do this show. At the show's all. over. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. You're the smart one. Like, start doing yeah. the like shit where you like articulate and like ask questions. Right. Well, the, so one of the questions I had is, you, you don't have a manager. You 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 went he straight read that from you to to the team. Why do you not have a manager on purpose? Is that I feel like you're at the level where you should have some. Have a manager. I do have a manager, but he's addicted to cocaine. So <laughs> I, I and he also has a ponytail. So I just don't. <laughs> this guy sounds like a fucking great time. <laughs> It fun. was fun in the beginning. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I just figured, you know what? I'll handle this one. Um, I, I didn't, yeah, I didn't want, um, I didn't want my manager to through email start asking Jake and you guys to get into different businesses where he can mix vodkas and protein and sell it through your label. Yeah. So, you know, some you, type of cocaine idea. Do you not like cocaine? No, um, I don't. I've never done it, actually. Not That's a, a lie. No, no disrespect on people who do. Shout them out. It's your world too, your body, your choice. But I, yeah. I, uh, I don't do, I don't, I've never snorted, um, I've never snorted anything. Wow, you're yeah. missing out. Any particular uh, reason you just. No, I just don't, I think uh, in my neighborhood, um, nobody was really doing that. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't the thing yet. Well, now we, I think they would be, the younger kids now, you know, what the doing fentanyl and, bacon, egg and cheeses. Right, yeah, we weren't doing, we weren't doing really. What's well, your, what was your thing? Um, what did we do? I mean, we did a little bit of, we smoked a little bit of weed, did a little bit of edibles, nothing crazy. Um, mostly, mostly just really, I guess, what are we really doing? I'm from a deep neighbor deep in Brooklyn, like Ridgewood, Bushwick area. Like it's not, well, now it's trendy, but back then it wasn't trendy. So like how deep we would uh, <laughs> like, you know, fucking deep, dude, <laughs> deep, like really fucking deep, like, like fucking you know, deep. <laughs> so, so deep. You guys, this is, this is. <laughs> Jake, so like you were just talking about your thing growing up is never cocaine. He fucking, as you could tell, he smokes frog venom, actually. And he, uh, believes, yeah. it, he believes it allows him to like yeah, enter a realm where he can though. meet God. Tell him the song that you guys came up with. I think, no, I think it's having like seriously <laughs> adverse effects because you're not okay. And he swears he's like a huge no, see, advocate. I actually think he's the most okay. We're not doing anything, and he's crafting him. He's laughing himself into tears. I think this is the life we should all be <laughs> marking. For, at and I love the beard. He looks like a trendy Amish guy. <laughs> <laughs> right? I just yeah. I, like this is what the An future Amish is. <laughs> this is what it is. Yeah. I, I think that this is what we should all strive for. Should I for? He's having fun, dude. Just having fun. He's having fun. He's letting go. What bo what's bothering this guy? Nothing. And you're hating. I'm not hating. You're trying to pull me down to your level. Exactly. And I'm what's rising my above. level? What's my level, black? I'm rising. <laughs> no, you. You hold <laughs> you're having fun, man. Good yeah, for you. Embrace it, saying, dude. You look at that yeah. belly button. Oh no. What do you got? That's a nice innie. Way to go, Pam. I need to, do you not have did a, a good job at the umbilical yeah, cord there? Yeah, I need a refund. You look like you probably have an any belly button, but an Audi asshole. Mm. If I had to guess, you know he actually right? likes. Seriously, what's am I the, wrong? Right, she's right. I, think I don't so. know if I don't know. How do you judge whether what your asshole is like? Um, how do you look at that? You bend over I, in the mirror yeah, like ice spice. Yeah. Have you done that? Yes. <laughs> so what? <laughs> yes. So you have. <laughs> I have an. I actually have an any. I actually have an Audi belly button and an any asshole. That's you can tell by your farts. It depends like how <laughs> it. This sounds so. My dad's gonna watch this. Right. So is and my dad. So your mom is in it. 
Ah, uh, my mom is dead. Oh shit! Yeah, she overdosed no. on heroin on my eighth birthday. She overdosed on heroin on your eighth birthday. <laughs> bitch, like, yo, it's lit. This bitch knew how to party. But uh, you should link her up with your manager. Actually, <laughs> seriously, <laughs> he's willing to bury himself. <laughs> yeah, um, I would love to hang out. Do you like butt play? Speaking of Indian Audi assholes. Um, no, I'm actually one of those guys that I guess, again, where I'm from, it was no real butt stuff. Yeah, same. Um, not real. And I've never really, I've never done anal with a woman either. No matter I what. Can't say, he's a butt play advocate. Um, okay. like, like he'll lay on his belly and get his ass <laughs> licked. And he's told me this <laughs> countless well, times. <laughs> Because if not, you're, you're on your hands and knees. So. Swear to God, I'm making you're this You're making up. this up. I, swear, I Jake, you're making swear to God. Swear on your mother's life who's in the room. What? That I told that we've talked about that? Yes. No, we haven't. Yes, we You're have. You're making that up. So I'm lying. Yes. Well, listen, I'll tell you this. I I don't have much ex I don't have much experience with butt play. The one time I did do it was actually recently, a few months ago. I was with my girl. We were in Italy having a nice time. And um, we were you know having sex. And then she she went ahead and she and she licked my asshole, which was a surprise. And I made it three licks and then I came everywhere. And then she looked at me and started to immediately cry. I said, what's going on? She said, this confirms you're gay. <laughs> and, and I swear to God, and we're like, kind of, unfortunately, it's been rocky since then. So you found yeah. out you were gay. But I don't know that that makes me gay. It felt good. I mean, it was three licks and then, you know. Yeah, I don't think it's gay. I'm the, not, man's, the man's G spot is in the butt. I don't care if my exactly. A, B, so. C, D, E, F, N, G spot was in my ass. I've been having a blast without my anus being licked and frotted fucking played with I'm okay. Is your asshole circumcised? <laughs> <laughs> or just... So I was recently a part of the fat community. I'm like on my way down. I'm kind of getting to like the third quarter of the hill. Yes. So I never Congrats. like really... Thank you. I've never really like checked it out. Um, okay. Kind of not interested at this... Right. At the, All right. At the, what was that about? But you did I'm know... But, but yeah, like I thought you're li lying. You're lying. I swear on You're my life. Because you, you also, like, when I asked the question of, like, how do you see your butthole, you knew exactly how to do it. I, no, I said you, you said you have over, to like, bend ice, over ice. in a mirror. I, I mean, like I'm just, that's just, like, physics. Like, how else would you see your asshole? Like, yeah, fucking yeah, looking over the side is your shit just hanging out? Like, I don't know, you just bend over or you take it like a selfie. Yeah, but you, you answered quicker than him. Because I've been really we thinking about bring back the clip. So, I think you... I like, the way I notice, you probably are saying that what you do is you... You would put a mirror and then turn around and look and spread your cheeks. What I do is I lay on my back with my legs up like that and spread. And that's how I check to see if I have an in ear or an Audi. That's the way to do it at home, kids or adults <laughs> over 18. Whatever you want to do. I don't know. Whatever. I don't know what's, you know, but I'm just saying if you want, there's ways that, uh, you know, to do it that, that are easier. How is being a father? Being a father is good. I have three. I have three children. Um, yes, I have three Puerto Rican uh, kids. So, I'm sorry, shout out. I mean, oh, wow. Wow. Puerto Rican. Well, yeah, we, my we kids live there like actually. Yeah. We, oh yeah, that's right. That's right. Not yeah, Puerto do, Rican, but you do live there. Yeah, my kids are from. Uh, they're from Puerto Rico. I my wife's that. not, but he so actually. What, so he, what do you mean by that? They're. Um, <laughs> I have. They're you know they're Puerto Rican children, man. They they. Their mom uh, identifies as Puerto Rican. And, <laughs> and so oh, that's great. I need to say for my position in comedy right now that I have a diverse family. So I say that my children are Puerto Rican, just even though that they're white kids, they look like little Hitlers, but they are Puerto Rican children. Their names are Nina, Pinta, and Santa Maria. Pinta? And Pinta. You know Nina, like, Pinta, and Santa Maria? Yeah, well, I'll do you in the bottom while I'm drinking sangria. sangria. Yeah. <laughs> Bang! Yeah, he, he no. actually has a, a Nina, kid on the, the way. Pinta, if you the have any kid on the way? No, no, he, he, you have a kid on the way. He has a kid on the way. <laughs> well, uh, and so we just well, wanted to know if you had any advice for young you know what, fathers. Okay, so actually, I have a good story. So yeah, <laughs> this is a good so, story. So the other night, yes, I went out. We all went out. I uh, brought this girl with me. Mm -hmm. Everything was going great. We had a good time. We were on the way out. And uh, they actually left. I'm on the way out. She's right over my shoulder. Something flies past my head and I just hear a firm smack. And I turn around and uh, she's bleeding and her teeth are out of her face. <laughs> on the fucking Whoa. ground. So somebody, this is two nights ago, uh, somebody on the other side of the bar took, he got in a bar fight, took his glass and chucked it across the whole venue. It just so happened to smack her in the face. Um, this is what she does for her livelihood too, is looks pretty. Um, her teeth 
fell out of her face. So we spent the next uh, hour did you trying to try find to get a blowjob. Well, he, so he, I did. <laughs> yeah. And he and came in her and now he has a toothless um, baby mother. Um, you came right in her. Was there? Y yeah. So, well, okay. we, we got home and she, she was crying for a while and then everything was fine. She was eating ice cream. Makes sense. And then we were just kind of laying there and I was like, well, you know, there was still something that we intended to do in this whole thing. <laughs> sure. And her it's fine. Her face was fucked up, but, and so, yeah, I might have a kid. Okay. But, can, you, yeah. can you show are me? You, are you happy about that? Having a kid with a woman with no teeth? <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. She's not, she doesn't have anything together in her Ooh, life. Yeah. So. I mean, you, you're, yeah. Your kids are going to be born with no teeth. Yeah. Right. She looks so, just like your mother. Yeah. Yeah. Just like mom. Can, can, can you show them the message you sent her? Um. <laughs> <laughs> This is foul. No, it's not. I can't wait to, for you to tell your story after this. Tell yeah. What story about well, what? That. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> What'd she say to that? She said it made me smile. What story? Oh, okay. <laughs> Civil what you not say? And then she said, which, she I, which I haven't done all day, by the way. You know what, man? She sounds like a keeper. Yeah. <laughs> it's literally, she's ride or die for you. I like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, mostly die for her baby, but yeah. 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 Yeah, good for you, man. Yeah, yeah, thanks. All right, well, listen, dude. If you're a father, you're a father. Yeah. Call me up, man. I got a house on Staten Island. You can uh, come there with never the right paperwork. Never go there. I've heard the yeah. worst things about Staten Island. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's why sounds, I said with the right paperwork. It sounds like a war zone. anything good about Staten Island in my entire <laughs> yeah. life. Well, it depends, you know. It's good for me. Um, <laughs> and, uh, uh, no, it is. Staten Island is better. Staten Island is not as um, racist as people make it out to be. Much more. You told me you hated blacks before we no, said that. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. He didn't no, say didn't. that. You're twisting words. You're twisting my You're words. You're twisting words. You're twisting my words. You asked me on a scale of one to ten, how racist am I? And I said, what do you mean? Against blacks? <laughs> I wanted to know which group we were talking about. I just wanted to about. know the seating arrangement so that you were as comfortable right. as, as, right. as, as you could be. But you said you, said you were a six. Yeah, six. I was being silly. I'm, I'm, I'm actually not racist um, against blacks. I was born in a time when racism wasn't cool yet. If I was a bit older, I'd be more. But I was, I was born in a time where it wasn't cool. So, but it might come back. You never know. It might be cool again. Where I, were you raised? So no cocaine, no butt play, no racism. Right. I was born. You're born in a fucked up place. I was. Yeah, dude. I was born in uh, Queens, Queens, New York. Yeah, baby. Queens, Brooklyn area. Why are all you guys um, um, comedians from Staten Island? Like, it's just like a bunch of drama and just... Well, I think um, we're there. Well, we got, you know, those of us that have children, got you get a house out there. And I don't know why, why we're out there. It felt like going over that bridge, you know, like you could just escape the drama of New York City, you know? Do you think Pete Davidson is funny? Yeah, Pete Davidson, I've known him since he's 16 years old. Fuck, I wanted to, I wanted to just say negative, bad stuff. Well, the thing is, comedy is subjective. So I think, I think he's funny, but there's people that don't think, you know, there's people that hate all of us. That whole community does actually seem like a damn cool community to be a part of. Like, everybody at the end of the day is like, seems very supportive of each of other. In, in comedy, in New yeah. York comedy, we are. Yeah, because I think we know how hard it is to make it, you know? And also, too, it's good to be older. Usually comedians start, not Pete, Pete's young, but a lot of us, we get, you get... By the time you get successful, you get older. So you kind of just, you know, you're competitive, but you're like, I'm happy with what I got. What does it take to subject yourself? To, I'm so sorry to the life of a comedian, but hear me out. <laughs> it's, it's, it's because like every story I've heard of a comedian is like terrible Trauma until it's great at the very end. Illness. And you, I think that you can't, you can't think about how hard comedy is, you know, like you can, cause listen, the thing is a lot of people do stand up now. Right. But and a lot of people will sell tickets based off TikTok or quick stuff. And that's all a beautiful thing. That's, you know, the algorithm. But, but to get fans to keep coming back, you just have to do it for a long time. Like the big comics, you didn't really hear anything about them until they were doing it like 15 years because you have to just fail so much. I know, dude, it's not easy. Mm -hmm. but is, is there like a new wave of, I don't know if Matt Reif would like fall in this category of people that are just really like skipping a lot of those steps. No, Matt Reif, that's the thing. That's the misconception. Matt Reif is not skipping any lines. He's been doing it for 15 years. Matt Reif, we've all known Matt Reif since he was, we've all known Matt Reif for 10 years. So when he blows up, that's one of the ones that we're like, oh, this is good because it's like one of the ones who didn't skip the lines. Most people are not overnight in comedy. You just maybe heard of them yesterday, but the comics have known about them for years, like Shane Gillis, known about Shane for years, you know? 
there's those a, guys. There's a pattern of you knowing these guys when they're underage. Exactly, dude. I told you, man. First of all, I went to Catholic school. Yep. Audi asshole. Um, and, you know, I've only recently had children, but before that, I was, you know, father figure to people. And has having Puerto Rican children grow, grown your Puerto Rican family? I'm growing my Puerto Rican family, yeah. It's good. It's good for Puerto Rican. They're fucking great, dude. The amount of paper towels I have in my house is insane. Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> On your shirt, on your, ask the guy. Yeah, on your so, shirt. what the fuck is going on with you, yeah, dude? Oh, Jake's crying again. <laughs> dude, he, I mean, imagine on the being spectrum. Imagine, he's on the spectrum. I know, dude, but it's fucking great. I knew this was going to happen. I love it, dude. I love it. You're psychotic. <laughs> yeah. No, he does like like the hardest of psychedelic ayahuasca and frog oh, venom on, on a very regular stuff. basis. I want to do that stuff. Yeah, do that you stuff. should do that stuff. I haven't stuff. done it. I was grow, you know, raised by you know, very like Catholic. Parents that were like, drugs are bad, alcohol is good, but I'm now I'm gonna see do hands who are fucking yeah, losers. losers. <laughs> I'm doing ayahuasca with Pam. Yeah, we're about to head down to Costa Rica. Oh, nice. Fucking Have you ever doses, had any psychedelics ever? Doses right up. No, I mean just the bullshit, mushrooms, and you know who but wrote I this shit. Do real shit. They're saying oh, the current state of stand-up comedy scene with everyone moving to Texas. Why are they moving to Texas? I they ask that question exactly like that in my head every day. Um, and I, <laughs> just like that, verbatim. <laughs> and, uh, Why are you and, yes. Yeah. There you so go. Say the yeah. N-word. Say, can you see my head? <laughs> just my, yeah, my, <laughs> has there ever I, been my a, soul is a black man. Do you ever yeah. say it in private? Wow. Have you ever said it to like see what it feels clothes? like? Listen, I gotta be honest. I think that, I, I think when we were younger, when I was younger, you know, 12, 13, 14, 15, would say it like, you know, if my, my black, you know, black friends playing basketball, playing my basketball. Black Yes, they would all be like, you could say, you could say, and we'd say because we're kids, you know? But now, truly, I've, I've never really, I've never said it, actually. Now, I just don't find it, it's not fun for me, that one, you know? I mean, other slurs, I'll fucking let rip, but not the N-word, you know? Can, can you say, like, what, we'll blurt it and put something over your mouth. What's your favorite slur? <laughs> oh, God. My favorite one? I mean, my favorite slur. Yeah. It depends. <laughs> yeah. What's a good one? Does Jew count as a slur? No. No, no Jew isn't. No, just no. a person. That's just what just somebody is. What do you think? What's your favorite one? Well, the N word isn't You a can't slur. say that. No, I can. You know he's white? Really? Well, I'm, I'm, what do you I'm, think he I'm is? Don't act surprised. I thought. He called you, you Puerto Rican. Yeah, I thought you look like a, you look like a, a, a Puerto Rican woman. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. You know who he kind of reminds me of? Have you ever, you ever seen Mike Studd? Yes. Remind me of Mike Stud a bit. I'm stud. I'll well, <laughs> I'll take it, dude. Is he retarded? <laughs> <laughs> He's actually a great I artist. I think Mike Stud's a great artist. Shout out Mike Stud, dude. Yeah. Um, there's a Jets game today. Are you? I know, you, should, you should probably I know. say that you're black. Are you, are you yeah, no, my dad's black. Your yeah. dad's black. Okay, yeah, there you go. Black. His dad tried yeah. to kill himself. Really? In jail. Yeah. So you want to hear another but story? He failed. When, when, well, did, yeah. when did that happen? Well, so, so I don't know my biological father. I found out I have two brothers that I didn't know about. Um, I've never been in touch with my biological father. So I contacted one of the brothers. I was like, hey, I think you're my brother. He got back to me and said, yep, that's my dad. It was actually his mugshot that I sent to him. That's all I could find <coughs> online. And then well, I called I, the I other brother know. and he said that this isn't the first time they'd gotten a call like this. And it turns out, I'm not joking, we have 20 brothers. Whoa. Yeah, 20 of us. And one, like Mike and Hamster. And so, he's related to Joe Mixon, Joe Mixon. Uh, the, the running back. Oh, yeah, so, of course, yeah, so, hell of a player. Yeah. yeah. There you um, go. And but then, yeah, yeah. he tried to kill himself. He got sentenced. He to tried like a to long, kill himself after he saw this podcast. <laughs> no, <laughs> oh. no, no, no. That's yeah. This is a startup company. Yeah. You should take his mugshot and make a T-shirt. Yeah. yeah, that'd be sick, dude. And have Jake wear it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That might be a little difficult <laughs> and for of me. Most but most love to just say like absentee. <laughs> mm, <laughs> most absent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So he jumped off the tenth floor and Whoa. no fourth, fourth. Uh, Fourth floor, and he fucking didn't die? He didn't die. Yeah. That's like, that's crazy. Crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> He's like paraplegic now? Yeah, they, well, so one of my brothers just described him as Holland. mute. Like he said, they said he just doesn't, like, he doesn't, he just sits there. He doesn't. That does suck. Yeah. That does really suck. Like he literally yeah. just sits there? Yeah. He must well, yeah, well speaking of paraplegics, you were, you were trying to- Hey, we can't talk about this because the mission's not complete. Well, this doesn't come out till next week. I know, but yes. like then it he just, was trying it just to, seems like he was slander. trying to fuck a girl trying. in a wheelchair. Yes, you were. Last That's night. That's very true. Interesting. I'm still trying today. Well, I don't think there's a problem with that. No, it's not at all. 
Why is she in the wheelchair? Was she born that way? Did she get into an no, accident? Oh, two years ago, I think, or something. I was looking. I, I was trying to do my research. I was just really horny. And I found her on Twitter, and mm -hmm. she lives in New York. And okay. I don't want to talk about this. Wait, come on. It's 9-11 also. Can we sub something? Anything? You want to celebrate? What do you want to do? <laughs> <laughs> I can't be I was here. surprised nobody was wearing their cone hats. <laughs> I can't be here. What the fuck? This isn't going to air. But if it does... Um, <laughs> okay. Can you just say download better into this mic? Download better. The city, it changed a lot that day. It's a different New York, I'll tell you that, pre and post 9-11. And uh, yeah, fucking what can you do? I mean, you know, you can't, first of all, I mean, used to be, right? No, 9-11. This is going to be weird for you. You're a young kid. But before 9-11, people used to have American flags outside their house. That used to be a thing. Everybody had an American flag. And even after 9-11, everybody had a flag outside their house. And they were like, if you didn't have a flag, they'd be like, what are you, a terrorist? And now, if you have a flag outside your house, they're like, what are you, a terrorist? It's, it's flipped, right, in 20 years, right under our noses. Is it Russia? Is it China? Is it the Paul brothers? I don't know. Oh. You're a doctor? I have a doctorate degree in physical therapy. How did you get, where did you buy that? Or how did you get that? Uh, yeah, I, um, how did I get it? I guess because my mom is a very highly educated woman and my dad got through third grade. So my mom was very much like, you will not be an idiot like your father. And then I went all the way and got a doctorate degree. But then I only did it for like two years, three years, and then I became a comedian. So you're like a fake doctor. Yeah, that's why I say doctorate degree. I always correct people. Oh. Doctorate degree, physical therapy. I can do massages and stuff like that. Really? Yeah, whatever you need, dude. Take a grip. Let me see. You're still fat. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I'm feeling. Yeah, it's still, yeah, it's real. I would say the back. BMI is still. Take that back. <laughs> Take right. that back. All right, I took it back. Better. Fuck this guy. <laughs> yeah, you look good, dude. Congratulations, do I, man. Do I really look good? I actually, do look good. You look. You look like I've only met you today, but you look like you've went from unhealthy to health, a lot healthier. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Look at what yeah. is he, what is he I don't know what that was, but it, <laughs> I don't know what it got. I got it's I got kicking a in. I got I a think vibration. She's like doing yeah, some dude, weird shit. No, you look shit. good. You look good. Thanks. You you look de decent. Yeah, it doesn't. See, I get you get to an age where it doesn't matter anymore. Yeah. Call me ugly. Call 16, me gay. Yeah. I don't fucking care. Anymore. What's wrong with gay? Whatever. No, I nothing. I'm actually I'm looking forward to it. I'm gonna go the first fifty years of my life straight. The last fifty gay. That's what I've decided that already. They wow. know. My family knows. Uh, yeah. Because why not experience it? If we're only going to go around this puppy once, why not experience it all? Yeah, sure. Why do you have to be committed to one thing? So, but then, if, but if you're experiencing it all, then are you doing like a couple of years of like bestiality, okay, yeah. and butt play, and bestiality, all, the all that? Um, not bestiality, not bestiality. Um, but yes, I think a gay, straight. I don't know. No, everything's fine. You need to relax. Yeah, everything's, everything's fine. fine. Everything. You, you, know, you guys are right. There's nobody. We haven't disparaged anybody. We've, I'm saying we I'm saying we accept everybody. And I and I think even this whole idea of coining a term as gay or is a new thing. Back in the day, like you guys ever heard of the ancient band of Thebes from ancient Greek mythology? Oh you know, yeah, the I know. Band all, of I know about them. Where are they? Yeah, they're there. They're in the Greeks. We're yes, all, like, we're, yeah, we're we're all in our, here we go. What you were saying, yeah, we're ancient, all in our 20s. huge, the ancient band of thieves, huge. No, it's okay. great. And then they did that, all that stuff, and then yes, there was, so they were there to the right. So you would argue, you would, I, you would say the Greeks, ancient Greek army. You've seen movies three hundred, all that. Got real guys, you know, like fighting, fighting force. Okay, the they were the they were the warriors of the day. Okay, and then in, in Thebes, which was a little island. In Greece, there was the fiercest fighters there. What they would do is the night before a big battle, like right before a big battle, the whole tribe, the whole band of them would have sex with each other. They would all have sex with each other because they believed the only way I'll be able to protect my brother in battle is if I'm in love with him and if I've been intimate with him. So is, that it, is this real? I swear to God, that wasn't wow. gay. That was just, that's just history. And this then they go back vibes. to their wives. So when I have sex with a man, it's, I say, I'm, I'm, in, I'm a history fan. Right. <laughs> right. I like that. Yeah, right. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, you're just, you're protecting him. I'm protecting ancient it, band of thieves lineage. And I'm saying that I'm in an effort to be your best friend. I, you need to be intimate. So now we got, you get backwards when everybody's gay. You know, nobody cared about that politically. In Abraham Lincoln's time, nobody cared who was gay. The president before Abraham Lincoln, James Buchanan, was fully gay. And nobody cared because your sexual orientation didn't matter.
I know you've, you know, I know nobody learns this stuff in school anymore. We just learn <clears throat> how bad white people are. Do, 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 was it do, one specific? Let's, how, yeah, go ahead. Was it one specific <laughs> group that was just fucking each other? Or was this like the standard for warriors? The ancient, the, that one group was fucking each other, but yeah. their fellow warriors didn't look at them as fully gay. They were like, these guys, you know, they they're don't fuck fucking They're bugs. psychos. They're, they were like, our, those were their Navy SEALs. Yeah. Imagine if our Navy SEALs, our best fighting force, had to have sex with each other yeah. and then they wanted yeah. to. Yeah. You know what I mean? The, yeah. Yeah, I feel like scary it, shit. It would really help because like post nut clarity is like crazy. You got a fight coming dude. up. We could we could try. Yeah, we could try this before the before a fight. Try it before. There you go. Did yeah. they win? Yeah. Oh yeah, dude. They were fucking. Yeah. Oh yeah. They were yeah. unstoppable. Yeah, we gotta try this. Try it, dude. You're not gonna. Yeah. You guys like you guys got me. Is it yeah. like yeah right. yeah? That's yeah. I'd fuck you for the cause of good. Yeah. Yeah, not because of, like no, it's just because for the yeah for the fight. Yeah. Do do and protecting do the lineage. You, Protect the lineage. You. That's what I'm all about. Do you think aliens exist? Do you think aliens exist? Do you think aliens exist? <laughs> <laughs> um, I would say great, I think great podcast we're running here. Yeah, this is. Yeah, I think they do. Great I think, line of questioning. No, dude, this is fucking awesome. I haven't spoken about this. This this nice. This is this is. I think they are. I think they are real. I think. And I know people know this, but I think they're already amongst us. That's my belief. And that some of them, some of them are, you know, and they look I mean, like us. You, you might be for yeah. sure. Seriously. Yeah, no, <laughs> you might be, dude. They're amongst us for sure. You're just fucking glitching out. This and whole I think that the people who are, they, they can't say it, you know, Yeah. but they probably are. Yeah. Well, we're not allowed to talk about it. Right. Yeah. You mean aliens, you mean aliens like from outer space, not illegals. Yeah, no, no. From uh, okay. The ones from outer space. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I wasn't sure what you meant. Oh, I, yeah. No, it's because the same I, yeah. He's bringing up good points. Yeah, because you have to be specific. Aliens from outer space. Okay, so what about alien pussy? We were talking about before. What about alien pussy? How, if, if hypothetically, aliens came here and It'll they had pussies. Be the best yeah. pussy. Are you, are, you, are you diving into some alien pussy? My friend, I just told you that I... I he married know, a Puerto Rican. Yeah, we've, uh, we've, yeah. I've had chlamydia multiple times. I told you that I want the last 50 years of my life to be gay. I'm down for anything. Yeah. I'd fuck a parakeet. So yes, <laughs> I would bang alien pussy. And not only would I, I'm hoping that I do. Yeah, yeah, fuck yes. yeah. What's fuck your yes. relationship? It's manifesting I, it. I, you I, gotta I, manifest what you want. Yes, I mean, mm. it's, it's give it to me. Yeah, give it all. Yeah. What's your relationship so we, with So chlamydia? you're saying you, you did fuck a parakeet? I'm saying I would. Oh, okay. I would fuck a parakeet. It depends, you know? <laughs> Crazy choice of... Yeah, dude, because you want to be different. Everybody's doing everything now. Yeah. You know, yeah, you, you got to be a... original. Exactly. That's how, that's how I'm standing out, you know? You were Seriously. About to say, We're standing You're original, out. bro. Yeah, I'm, I'm original. It's like, bro, like, come on. 100%. I'm doing shit differently. All right. Well, Nobody... And now, honestly, I'm, th I'm thinking small. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, right. Go like I need to get, <laughs> yeah. I need to get like Chris. Bro, yeah. seriously, because what else are you gonna do? You're thinking yeah. so big. If you keep right. doing all these things, you keep going viral, you keep doing all these things, you're gonna it's gonna get down to fucking a parakeet. And, and so you have to be careful about how there's no end to up, Jake. So you keep going. Yeah. When do the stakes end? Yeah. Yeah, I know you're so right. And my friends, people say think outside the box. I'm like thinking, no, you have to think outside the circle. No, or you, it, if you're or you need to out, think yeah, inside the parakeet box. It, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Get in there. I like that. If you had, it like, if you could just animal of choice to fuck. <laughs> like, if just one animal, it's not illegal. No one knows <clears throat> besides everyone who watches this. Just one animal. I would have to say a hyena. Wow, that is hyena. Outrageous. Why? I'll tell you why right now. First of all, they're a matriarchal dominated society. They have a pseudo penis. The females have the penises. Wow. Okay. So they are the, if you think about it, they are the original. Trans. They were trans before anybody. Yeah, before. They was, give birth yeah. to a pseudo penis. When hyenas give birth, the female shoots the baby out through the pseudo penis, got like a 90% death rate because it just blows their penis off. Yeah. <laughs> That's and so the sick. ones that, and the ones that survive are, you know, usually maimed for life because, I mean, think about our penises. If we, if, if, you know, think about your penis. If you gave birth through a penis, that's what hyenas do. So I, I think if I was going to have sex with anything, it would be to let the hyena fuck me. That's probably similar 
to uh, a hyena, hyena experience. Yeah, hyena. I, I would say that. I would say that. That's no joke. I think I'm going polar bear. Why? I don't know. It What's just... your obsession with white people? Yeah, yeah bro. <laughs> oh, he's flipping the fucking script. <laughs> why, why polar bear? <laughs> just a lot to grab on. Yeah. Well, what? Like, well, because you love Klondike bars. <laughs> that is very true. <laughs> What's your animal of choice? <laughs> um, animal of choice. Animal of choice. If I had to fuck an animal, I would probably fuck. Um, maybe a maybe a maybe a maybe a giraffe. A giraffe. Yeah. It's a lot of neck. Yeah. Just Long neck. Maybe a giraffe. Sexy. Yeah. 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 Damn. Interesting. Maybe, but maybe. too many teeth for you. Right. You want something right. with less teeth. Yes. So maybe a f- type of fish. You'd be nice with like a catfish or something yep. like that. Catfish. Something yes. like that. Oh, I actually wait. changed my answer. There, a no, catfish. Catfish. Dolphin. A catfish. Yes. Well, they'll rape you with the dolphins. Yes. They're known for that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't mind it. What about you, Jay? What do you want to? I was going to say dolphin. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Okay. S- something about. Couple holes. They just seem like a good time. Yeah. Right. A penguin might be fun. That feels yeah, wrong. Yeah, I yeah. don't know. It feels, it feels, it feels like a kid. I just want uh, yeah, to good point. So, you want, so the animal should be bigger than you, you're saying. Or aquatic. One of the two. Something about a walking, tiny right, 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 penguin right, 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 right. feels. Right. No, because I'm into little people. That's kind of like, that's my speed, honestly. It's not even a fetish. Uh, well, it's not that a fetish. I mean, you like what you like. You know what I mean? Like, I think people... We, there's too much pressure in this society. You have to like bend to all these rules. You like what you like. There shouldn't be a term for it. You, you make wanna, me comfortable. That's it, dude. You want to fuck little people. Little people. Little people. Why did you it? say little people? Why not little people? Because I was just being silly. Is it? Is it like? And you, you, t- you say you, t- you touched me. So you were you, you saying black? it like little, yeah, like you, you little Wayne? Black. Yeah. He was saying <laughs> when you touched me. <laughs> the fuck. <laughs> he was saying it like Lil Wayne, or how was he saying it? Little people. A little Come on. I can't. Come on. I really wish I could. I can't. Not in, the, not in this, not with this president. Who's the president? Oh, that forgetting stuff. Yeah. We need somebody else in office. He's like turned over dead. I'm ready. As soon as I turn 35, Hell I'm in no. there like swimwear. Paul Brothers campaign. You really would do it? We will. We will. It will it's very possible. I think politics, the landscape, it's all changing. Why not? I was just with Vivian. You think he no. could be the president? Fuck If he no. could beat The Rock. If Donald Trump from a reality TV show did it, Fuck no, yeah. bro, my vlogs are ten times fucking bigger than his a stupid little percent. show. You probably don't even know what show he was on. You a little fucking percent. millennial bitch. Sorry for being yeah, dude. young. You little fucking two thousand baby pussy bitch. Sorry, you for little being fucking nine eleven baby. You were born in the bitch. late nineteen hundreds. I was. I actually was. I don't want to that's, a, that's a fact. I don't want to be antagonized for being young. Nineteen eighty four. You're really old. 39 years old, my friend. Oh, you're not that old. You're still in your Yeah, 30s. but I'm 39. What's your plan kids? for 40? Um, like a birthday party? Yeah. Mm, what am I going to do for my 40th? I would say uh, I want to go I want to go to Hershey Park. I'd the like f- to go to Hershey Park, Pennsylvania. That's not I'm from Pennsylvania. What the That's fuck is Hershey why? Park? Why would you I want to go that? to Hershey Park. I like roller coasters, I like chocolate. Okay. I like the Amish. Yeah, I actually, uh, I I performed there. Uh, Really? What'd you do? What was the performance? I said, uh, it's every day, bro, with the Disney Channel flow. Five mil on YouTube in six months. Never done before. Uh, You can uh, stop that shit right now. I'm turning it down right now, actually. Well, no, but actually, I'm saving people because someone, like one time someone commented under my video that they were paralyzed in a a wheelchair. And was it the girl he's fucking? It might have been. But they said, Jake, like, thank you so much. I haven't been able to walk my whole life, but I was able to stand up to turn this music off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's a good, see, that's a good, that's a good. I'm changing the world. That's yeah. a good comment. <laughs> if you're going to comment hate like that, it's got to be funny. I like that's that. That's not hate. That's, that, they're thanking you. They're thanking me. It's, it's a fucking yeah. miracle. I fixed the oh, paralyzed right, right. person. True, 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 true. What's the word? Hey, true, true. What the fuck? I don't know. I'm trying to fit in. That what? was a tick. 
<laughs> Imagine having Tourette's and it I just do. makes you yeah. gay. Yeah. I know. I made you gay. Yeah. What's your worst experience you've had at a show? At a show? Your own. Like Somebody, you- when I was, this was, geez, maybe it was five, six years ago now. I was thought I was doing well enough. It was a sm- small comedy club and somebody threw their shit stained underwear and hit me in the chest. <laughs> Some guy must have sharded in the bathroom. <laughs> And then nailed me with it. He wet them so it would like go further and then just That's hit crazy. me with the like that on the chest. And then I was like, what the fuck? Because at first it startles you, you know, like you just got hit, like you think you got shot. And then it was and just then a look down, it's just shit on. And then it was just a sweet shit stain. Uh, and the, but you know, and then uh, I mean, dude, all you can do is laugh. I just laughed it off, let him stay, no problem. You're not a violent guy. You don't. No, no, not really. No. Not violent, and I don't throw people out of my shows unless it's like you're really, 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 really bothering the crowd. But I look at it as, as I'm a comic, so it's like if you're heckling, then it's my job to, you know, think on my toes. Yeah. So that's what I do. So that yeah, guy just hit me with a shit bomb. And for something like that, I don't know that there's material, so I, we just clapped it up for him. Wow. It was a nice fucking strike, dude, to just, I mean, imagine you're like literally doing the material you wrote all year. And then somebody says, I shit in my pants, mm. and it's funnier than you. <laughs> so, you know, you accept that. Yeah. Comes with age. Is it hard to write, a, like, a, like, a stand-up set? Like, how do you go about that? Um, I just, I walk around with a notebook, live my life, try stuff, mostly fail. And then the little bits that are good, that's what starts to become your hour. But how do you know it's good, though? It used to be I would go off if the crowd is laughing at it or not, and I still kind of do, but now it's more if I think it's funny, then it's funny. And if I, after the 10th time, my barometer, after the 10th time I tell the joke, if I still think it's funny, then I keep it in no matter what the crowds are thinking because it's about me. It becomes about you. It becomes about the performer. Yeah, I, but I see that in music sometimes where people will be like a huge success and then they get super artsy and they're like that. They're like, this is about me. I'm just going to do what makes me happy. And then we don't end up hearing about them much longer. Well, it's not, but it's not that I'm like telling the audience to go screw themselves. I'm just saying if I think it's, you know, I'm in for my comedy, I'm the quote unquote expert, whatever that means. So I'm like, if I'm not going to be swayed by, because everybody, there's be a million people that'll tell you you're not funny. A million people tell you you're funny. You can get very confused. So I'm like, if I think, and also it's come with experience. I've been doing this 15 years now. So it's like, I know now, dude, I know 15 years old. I'm almost old enough for you to fuck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right? You like well, young? Poland, yeah, probably. Technically, well, depends what state. In Poland, we could fuck. In Poland? At 15? Yeah. Oof. Pretty crazy. Jesus Christ. How do you know that? Yeah. Uh, How do you know that? I was on TikTok. And, and they said just, that? Yeah, they said that. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah dude. You're just in your room fucking a pierogi. <laughs> 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 the algorithm knew. I got to send him these Polish girls. Okay, time for more uh, professional. Question: no. We we were just we were just talking about like doing bad on sets, and I've do seen you do you- comedy too. No, okay, no, no fuck, no, no. That's uh, good. Yeah. What do you mean fuck? No, that's condescending. Um, no, no, I don't mean fuck. No, like that is mean like I'm like I'm not the guy yeah. for that. Oh. Yeah, um, yeah, he's a philosopher. Yeah, that's but, dope. Yeah, thanks. Tell t- t- them stoicism. Tell, I, yeah, so yeah, I know t- you're big stoicism. Tell, guy. The, tell the world something. Um, let's, let's, let's hit it. I want a banger. Philosoph us. <clears throat> that was good. Sometimes he has a hard decision, like like deciphering between whether he wants to be black or white for the day. So mm-hmm. the philosophy depends on if he's white. It mm. okay. Well, and it's like a it's like a telling it like a comedian. When I'm sure when you meet people, they probably say, T- "Tell me a joke." Sure, mm. tell us sure. a joke. Yeah, sure. I got. But I, I also I, don't jack that. philosopher. Like I don't. I don't. That's not my claim to fame. Like I'm not. Yeah, our claim to fame is freeloading off of you, until we make enough money to jump out the nest. You guys should be. Are you writing a book silently? Do it. Uh, Keep about it. Expose. Yeah. Big. Big Expose. seller. Yeah, that percent. That is, that's an interesting thing about being friends with you is there's always an exit plan because mm-hmm. the amount of stuff Yo, you could that just I have of me him out. that I could, I could ruin everything for yep. him and you should, and I could sell it to Keenan Starter for I was saying, wait should, for the right time. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like you, you should. should slime me out and get a bag, bro. Yeah. That's Why what not? I'm here. 
Like, people don't realize I'm here to help others. What you would know? be dope if you promoted the expose about you? Mm. That would be fucking yeah, awesome. Yeah. Wow, That's what you should do. Him. I'm going to. <laughs> yeah. I it's, would love it's great. that. Respect. It's, uh, that would be dope. It would make huge, whatever anybody huge. says about you stupid. You'd be like, yeah, I, I, I agree with these people. Yeah. I just exposed myself and it was Amazon Dimes bestseller. Yeah. And it's that's it. It's like Eminem, right? Yeah. Well, that's what he did. Yeah, the, with the with the Eight freestyle, mile. with the yeah, freestyle. when he just um, fucking shit on himself. Which one of them is worse, promote. Logan or, uh, um, or him? No, I actually I like um I like both of them. I like both of them. I hate I don't uh I don't like um who don't I like? I don't like um Jewish people. You said before. You no, said I and, like and black people. I like I don't like. Uh, are you Joey's guys related Jewish. to Aaron Paul? No. Oh. No. That he's not one of the Paul brothers. No. Who is Aaron okay. Paul? He's the guy from Breaking, Breaking Bad. Bad. We actually did a background test yesterday with Rich Paul to uh, the black guy, and they're not related. They thought they might be. Yeah, because they're both from Cleveland. Yeah. Got it. They're both from Cleveland. Where are you guys from? <laughs> they're from. Yeah, we're West. from. Uh, oh, me? No, Sorry. No, you looked at him. No, no, no. But, but it was a. I, what did you say? I, Africa? You're pointing at you. You, yeah, you yeah. looked at I, him. I, like he's like, I said, I'm, I said, where are you from? And he's going like this, pointing at himself. I don't know I what you are. I misspoke. Me, I misspoke. Oh, where are you from? I'm sorry. Yeah. You guys are from where? The same place? Uh, Who are you asking? What the <laughs> fuck is happening? You, that's as philosophy. It's, it is, it's for you to understand. Yeah. It's where, where I'm looking and it's, it's where I'm feeling is where I want yeah, to go. Yeah, sure, sure. He's Pennsylvania. He's seeing the bigger picture. Yeah. Yeah. We're all from, really, we're all from one spot. My daddy's nuts. Yeah. From the, from yeah, the, baby. What, what but we all came United from States. the first piece of sperm. Yeah. So we're all, yeah. we all have that first sperm in our DNA. Pilgrims and shit. Yeah. 200,000 years ago you was the first the human, right? So, so they say. So we're, that's we're from the See? first nut, too. No. Yeah. We're a part of history, no, guys. No, no. You are. You're lying. How do you know the first human was 200,000 years ago? Um, I talked to him because that's what Graham yeah. Hancock said. Yeah, I yeah. believe. Like I, 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 I read it. it. I read it online. I and everything See, online. It's but honestly, I'm not it's religious. less energy for you to just believe. Like right. I don't know that how many miles away you know fucking Pluto is, but it's just, fuck, just bro. Fuck, bro. Thank oh. you. Oh, he, it's oh, just you, so much you upset less him. Sorry. No, yeah, it's just. Gonna, am I going to lose my teeth? No, this is good. Oh. <laughs> this, is, this is important. Yeah. Our friend thinks the fucking earth is flat. It just takes too much time. And you know what that is to me? Resistance. I get it. Who knows what it is? But it's like if most people say it's round and you want to spend your whole life thinking it's flat, then that, what that's telling me is you're just doing resistance against the work you actually want to do. You really yeah, sure. don't care. Like, you just don't want to. You don't want to. You're too scared to make yourself a better person. So you're like, I'm going to hang on this conspiracy. <laughs> yeah, so sure. Shut up, but dude. what's the plan when you find out this motherfucker? the shape of it like what do you do then wait no How, what am i gonna find out the shape of it i don't fucking know but if you did like what what after then it would just then like, it would just be flat fucking party that's what, what would i do i would what do you mean mm. what yeah, so I fuck my parakeet no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. who cares people get so bent out of shape about you everything already have a parakeet no but i'm looking for the right one <laughs> Can you just tell our friend, his name is Ocean, can you tell him to fuck himself? His name's OJ? OJ oh, Simpson. Ocean. 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 Oh, Ocean. Well, Ocean, your first problem's in your name. Um, <laughs> you want to hear his last name before you... Yeah, his, his name's Ocean Interbeing. Ocean Interbeing? Well, it seems like you have way bigger problems than putting your time and energy into your Earth's flat. You would have a better life if your name was Osama Bin Laden. Um, so you should, first order of business, change that. Well, he okay. can't. He can't he actually river, river change. But, well, he but he actually can't swim either, which is crazy really? to like <laughs> name yourself after like a body of water that yeah. like you can't swim. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, uh, it's stupid. That's just that's his real birth name. No, 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 no. no. Oh, he legally he changed, changed it. Yeah. Legally, got it. So this kid's re yeah, this kid doesn't want to do anything. It's the same one, first and last. Yeah, name. that was his birth name. Oh, so he, where, he's uh, no. where, Middle Eastern. He's black. Oh, yeah. yeah. What's the last name? Yeah. Did his mother also die of a heroin overdose? <laughs> Mine was like a big partier. I actually okay. have a pretty cool like. Name. Tell me the story. Oh, oh, your name? Uh, no, I, the story. The, oh, I thought you were say, I think gonna say you have a pretty cool story about your mom doing heroin. Oh no, the bitch was just like you said it, super strung out, like just okay, vibing out. Just, That's again. She was like cool. Three days. Every three months, three days, and she cooked a mean hamburger helper, but. 
It was hard to be around her. <sighs> I get it, dude. But would you rather be around ocean? Mm, no. Right? That'd be worse. Mm, like ocean? He <laughs> talking about a flat earth? I'd, I'd be like, give me the heroin. That's actually one of his employees. Really? He doesn't do background checks. Yeah. Well, I mean. Um, yeah, he's great at what he does. So it's like why you guys are all here. Because you guys all have like serious mental illnesses yeah, sure. and all sorts of crazy things. You're taking people in. You're like a group home. No, exactly. Yes. Yeah. Literally. And I'm helping well, all he's of He's actually like, in the group home. Like he, he needs help. Yeah, no, it's like a, yeah. it's like a camaraderie thing. Like yes. we all help each other. But, yes. But I, yeah, I, I have uh, a lot of issues as well. And so we just have this like mental health facility going on. How do you feel about polygamy? Polygamy? I like, I think polygamy is uh, multiple wives, Mormons, they say, do that. I think it's, uh, I think the marriage is, is the tough thing, right? Marriage is, do you, do you cheat that's on your wife? No, I'm actually, we're not married. We have a family and children, but we're not, we're not legally married. No. Oh, nice. But no, but, but um, if we got married, I, I wouldn't cheat on her. Do you think at this you're going to? Five years ago, yes, but not at this point. Do you think you're, you're going to marry her? Um, I think that I'm, again, child of divorce. So I grew up around divorce. So for me, the whole institution of marriage isn't what I'm about. But again, I could be just having resistance like ocean. Maybe that's my earth is flat. As I stand, everybody's got a hill to die on. You know what I mean? So I'm like, I don't want to get married and I'll, I'll, anybody, every philosophy, you can come up with stuff to embody it, right? There's yeah, stoicism, sure. you know, I can, I can, I can lean on anything. Yeah. Sure. You could get a prenup. I know. But then I feel like you're already betting for it to fail. And it feels like, like, I, I think the whole idea of love being in marriage is a new thing. Back in the day, it was just, you would marry for land and money. You know, you'd combine families. Well, that's what the girls are still doing. Right. Right, but so Dead and selling pussy, right? Which I I don't mind. I'm a consumer, but prostitution you think should be legal? Um, I I, I agree. I think he might have been talking about OnlyFans. No, okay. no, no, no. I'm I'm a consumer of. Uh, Interesting though. Um, so with your with your wife with mm -hmm. your wife being Puerto Rican, where yes. also I mean we we live there, right? right. Do you do you visit right. often? Do you have you have you been there? I've been there. I, well, I've been there. We went to um. Her family's from Arecibo, and okay. we we didn't go there, but she told me she's from there. We went to San Juan. We went to Dorado. Yeah. Um, we were going to go to Rincon, but um, we didn't go. But it, it's it's good. It's she's very Puerto Rican. My house is very Puerto Rican. Mm -hmm. You have to come to my house sometime. Yeah, sure. So everybody's there's yeah. If you, you just move it like if you relocate it out of Staten Island, we'll be there. Come back. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, yeah if it's not in or anywhere near there. Like, have you ever been to Staten Island ever in your life? Fuck no. No, no I, I care about that. No I should come. I'm there. telling you, dude. Uh, yeah. You should come. <laughs> it's good. It's better, man. It's like it's uh better. It's better, it's better than, than it's what? Better. It's better than what? <laughs> It's better than uh, I, I respect that because that is so open ended that you can say that about anything. You can be like Hitler, yeah. man, he's better. <laughs> whoa, whoa, that's a crazy. Then if out. that's so fucking he insane. killed like thirty more it's people than he did. Than Genghis Khan. Yeah, you know, Genghis Khan was worse. Yeah, you know, like things like that. Yeah, no, but can, Stan, can, I think can, you'd like it. Can you name six like amazing things about Stan? He's um, dug in your nose. It has a lot of parks. Um, it's over a bridge, so there's less people there. It, um, has really good Italian food. Most of the people who lived in Brooklyn all moved to Staten Island, so the, probably the best Italian food on Staten Island. Um, it has, um, uh, uh, did I say that it has parks? Yeah, 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 no, no, yeah, yeah. It has Puerto Ricans in my house. Dope. Yeah. Um, that's where the Puerto Rican population of Staten Island lives, right in my, right in my house. Um, yep, yeah, I've 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 yeah. I yeah. I think I have a nice house, four beddy, pool. What the hell else do you need? Come through to Staten Island, bro. I'm telling you, man. I got a it's actually one of uh Jasmine, my girlfriend Jasmine, one of her um uh nieces, beautiful girl, 25 years old in a wheelchair right up the alley. <laughs> there it is. If we just knock her fucking my teeth over out there. I actually don't just... I don't have I don't have a I don't think I have a picture of her actually, but she is in a wheelchair um as well. But I think she she was born that way. Mm. That's the thing. So, oh, I don't know so if that's she, she's like a vet, though. So she yes. knows how to get around it. I don't know. Yeah, but she doesn't have the trauma of, you know what I mean. So 
You're gonna have to work a little bit. Ooh, so would you rather be, I guess it goes for like the same thing as being blind. Would you rather be born a paraplegic or get into like a tragic car accident at like 30 and become a paraplegic? I think born because you you don't know what, you don't, you know what I mean? Yeah. You don't know it any other way. I'd rather just not even know. I'd yeah. rather be blind from day one. So I don't yeah. even know what red is, but I vote for it. Yeah. Yeah. That was a joke. <laughs> Are you gonna, Are you a liberal? You're gonna set this guy <laughs> off. You're gonna start fucking <laughs> trumping. He's, he's actually a, li a liberal. I'm in the middle. I would say I'm as I'm in the middle. But most people in their 30s, most people with 30s in their families and have families are just in the middle because we well, can I'm see in both the, ways. I'm in the middle too. Yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, more people. I just, I'm yeah, not you're gonna, in the like, middle if the middle was just shoved all the way to the right. No, I'm not. I, a lot of my thoughts skew left actually. And there's like this test you could take to see like where you actually are on the spectrum, mm -hmm. the, the political spectrum. Right. Um, I've, yeah, I is. don't believe you in the middle because but, your dad um, is racist. That has nothing to do with me. <laughs> True. That might push you towards the middle. If you yeah, have a racist exactly. parent. I didn't like that. There you I go. mean, bro, you're my best friend and you're black. What if he was a Republican? No, but that's lucrative also for like business reasons for yeah. you. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> like it, it is really convenient that you have someone from every culture on your team. I'm the minority on my team. Yeah, it's true. I'm, that is true. I am. I'm the only white person on my team. Right. They're all La well, Latino. Brandon, he, black, black, Latino, black. No, all my coaches are black. Everyone's black. White, white. Or you Mexican. love doing that to me. No, you really love you that. Piece of shit. You love no, it. I, I, woman right there. Oh, um, okay. All right, two. Yeah. We'll find something. Yeah. Not enough. Um, yeah, you don't fine. have enough people from... Uh, ISIS on your team. Yeah. Mm. yeah you don't have right. enough. You're right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah, you think I'm, about I'm, that? Where, where's but where, where's yeah, the business incentive to, for him that's to have someone? Because I'm just saying, if you're going to be all inclusive, then be all inclusive. But yeah, it's not, right. he's not actually all inclusive. He's, he's looking at everything from a business perspective. So it's like business. No, I actually just woke up one day and I like was in my kitchen. I was looking he's around. Like, what are all these <laughs> doing here? <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, I'm the only white person on my team. What is that? The last thing his dad said to me before we ended our feud, uh, it was right when the pandemic had hit, actually. He sent him a voice message saying, I'm going to kill your fat fucking black friend if an apocalypse happens because he doesn't know how to ration. And, and we overheard that. He actually sent that to him. Yeah. And we overheard and it. I know. No, this is, this is, eat no, no, this is when no, COVID hit. I'd eat all the food. And oh, right, right, when right, COVID right. hit, when COVID hit. And it was like actually everyone was scared and the like real lockdowns for like that first week were happening. Sure, sure. He called me. He's like, yo, like kick everybody out of your house, especially Jasper. He's like fat and going to eat all your food. Right. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Being a good parent. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. He's pissed off about it, but it's like. I know how to ration. Yes. You know no. I know how to ration. <laughs> uh it's just all relative, like your idea of rationing and our idea of rationing. He was just, just saying, if you had to kill the people in your house, that in the longest to survive, you would kill Jasper first. Yeah, exactly. Because he will eat all the food, and then in turn, you can store him and eat him, and he would give the longest. And my dad's in the fucking army. Like, this is how he thinks. Dry survive an instinct. Got it. So he didn't mean any disrespect. Exactly. Mm. You still upset with him for it? A little bit. You got to get over it, man. You got to let go. I can't. When you hold on to when you hold on to stuff, you know, bad stuff like that, it's just it's gonna it, weigh you down, yeah. and then not the fat. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's re you're being vengeful. Exactly, you already have enough to lose. Why are you looking at me like that? I don't like this. You sound like a glass half full type of guy. The way you just broke that down was incredible. Glass honestly. half full. We do have a sponsor of this show though, so everything just so you know, you're not surprised when it comes out. Every time you said it's gonna say yep. Celsius over. Oh, over is your out and Celsius is in. Yep. yep. Oh, it's. And so, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's like a whole thing. Fuck. Losing There you go. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> there Fuck you it go. then. I meant Celsius comes to my house. I'm Chrissy Celsius. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah, yeah. I love Celsius, it's such man. A good, it's so it's good. It's so good. dope. Think. Fuck Fahrenheit. Fuck them all. Yeah. Um, <laughs> right. We love Celsius. I tr I switched all of the thermometers in my house to Celsius. As you should have. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Celsius yep. clay. That's what you could fight next as. Yep. Yep. <laughs> what? Yeah. Well, it's no, it's no different. It's, it's slightly... Similar to cash. Do you believe clay. in uh, climate change? Do I believe in climate change? And, and how do you feel about the activists? The activists, um, gluing their fucking glue, hands to the floor, gluing them hands to the floor. I mean, it, you know, it's uh, it's a problem for sure. They do it a lot in London. They glue themselves to the street and stop traffic a lot, which is not going to work in New York. You know, yeah, you'll, you'll just get, get ran a baseball over. Baseball bat, you'll get ran over. And 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 that is what I will say. What I will say on a just a simple. You know, 
we talked about silver lining in everything. What's better, you know, better than what's silver lining? At least with us, with climate change, London, they can glue themselves to the floor and the people just have to wait in traffic. Where with the United States, you know, because that's the positive of all the shootings is we do have guns and they know that they'll get shot if they glue themselves to the floor and they do it less, which is that's a positive thing. If there is, you know, because yeah, yeah. we don't, you don't want to sit in traffic because somebody glued themselves to the floor. Yeah, what if someone was giving birth and, and they glued themselves to the floor? Yeah, yeah the per, yeah, the, they couldn't get to the hospital or something. Now you're born in a fucking yeah, Chevy were, Spark, right? Yeah, it's <sighs> fucked up, yeah. right? Is your friend Ocean That's the glued thing to the floor is he's, right now? He's a fraud. He's That's a fraud. And once he, again, this is with, going back to extremes. I respect it. Like the man hanging himself. I respect the climate activists that go all the way to glue. They fucked up their hand. They're really doing no, it. No, if you're glued. Done if you're for. Glued. Yeah, dude. That's Resin like, and super glue. That's like hanging yourself from a doorknob. Go hard or go home. If you're going to do it, do it. But it is. Re, it is I, don't I don't know what do they it. think is going to change. Right. There was a guy actually that I think he died because he tried to shoot himself off in a rocket because he was not in belief that the earth was a sphere. Mm -hmm. So he built a fucking rocket. But shout out to him. So because it's funny. he really believed it to the point where he wanted to go find out. Ocean is just yelling all the time. You know, That's the, all guy, he does. the guy who shot himself up in the rocket was suing my brother because my brother put him in a YouTube video without his permission and like defamed him or that's what he was saying and he was suing my brother for like two million dollars and then died in a rocket damn have you ever been sued yes what were you sued for um i well i got sued for not fulfilling a contract on a tv show i got sued for somebody said that i um harmed their mental health at a comedy show what um, the fuck? what else did i get sued for um, I think those are the two, those, the, that, the, the TV one and uh, I, two people, another person sued me comedy because um, they said uh, that I, I was like doing like crowd work and they said that I, I made their wife, their wife had a heart attack the next day and they blamed mm. my comedy. It's all like unwinnable stuff, but you could sue anybody for anything. What did yeah. you say to the two people that the one that claimed you hurt Dude, their mental health? That's the thing with me with comedy and podcasting. I don't know. Somebody would be like, what do you have to say about this? And I'm like, I never said that. And then they show me the video, and I'm like, holy shit, I was letting it rip. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I, didn't, I don't remember <laughs> saying said that. that. Yeah, yeah, I said all of that. And, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, getting sued, who cares, right? I mean, everybody, it's just going to happen. I do. You do? Yeah, I do. I mean, we just sued? finished up a lawsuit. Yeah, it lasted two years. But that's, I mean, I think, I guess that means you're doing something. Yeah. It's just interesting how you're you can be people. in the right. You can be innocent and still have to pay for lawyer fees, still have sure. to waste a bunch of your time, years of your time dealing with this lawsuit, and people can just sue you. They can just decide, hey, I want to sue you. You live in a world where it's, it's feelings, not facts. Did Words speak louder than actions. I figured it out, though, that... Did you just say babe? Babe, I call him babe. I'm starting to... I like it. I'm, I'm getting good. to know him a little bit. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I figured out that it's only in America that people have lawsuits like this and shit. They don't, like, sue in other countries. Yeah. No. They just, well, they're know. older civilization. We're a very new civilization. TikTok civilization. Exactly. Team like China. Mm. Yes. That's the real ones. Mm. Are you are you Team China? I think, um, well, I already have, yeah, I have my two-year-old is already watching videos on Chinese prison camps just so she's prepared for what may come. But I think, uh, yeah, I am Team China. I respect I'm that. I'm Team That's USA all day, all day. But second would be Team China. Sure. You have to go. For what reason? I just think they're I just think that um they're the most powerful um after us. And I think that um I think that, you know, I mean they're already in New York. I mean it's already China. It's already baby Shanghai. So yeah. uh, which is it's cool with I'm cool with it. So I'm I'm assimilating I'm just starting to use I'm learning how to use chopsticks and do things like that. Sure. Because I normally wouldn't. I would be the disrespectful guy that'd be like, Do you have a fork? But but now I don't. I yeah. either eat with my hands. Or I try to use the chopsticks. That's very inclusive of you. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I, I got my. I'm be, just to prepare. <clears throat> I use chopsticks on everything. Yeah. Pizza, mm. ice you cream. Can't eat a fucking pizza. With dude, chopsticks. watch. Check my YouTube, son. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's gonna. He's probably gonna be eating pizza <laughs> with chopsticks. Yeah. Mm. On there, I, I can yeah. almost guarantee it. Actually, he's not fucking around, <laughs> dude. I don't fuck. But yeah, on China's YouTube. China has great products. They do have great products. They, yep. they have all the products, right? Yeah, they have every product. Everything. Condoms are even made in China. 
Hunter. Yeah. So is Celsius. It, yeah, that's right. That's um, right. You're, we could have him it? as a regular. No, no, it's, it's not. It's, oh, it's in, USA. It's in Florida. Ah, uh, okay. That's Cel- not right. Yeah, it's, no, that's they right. Sh- you should have a Celsius factory in China. Why not? He's on um, something. You should, dude. You might have to be yeah. a Celsius not? partner. I- international expansion. I love mm. it. You have to, bro. C- you capitalism. should cheat on your wife with a Chinese woman. Cheat on my wife with a Chinese woman? Well, it's not international his wife, it's his baby expansion. mama. Yes, baby mama. Yeah, I could. I like Chinese women. I'm into feet. I like feet. Oh, yes, I am. Fuck. Most white men who like Asian women have a big foot fetish. They love feet. I don't like feet. Yep. We're actually, just talking yeah. about this. Yeah, what's the, like, what's the intrigue? I'm not I like- really actually don't like feet, but I'm just saying when you mention Chinese mm. women, a lot of, I think, of, I think if you see a white man with an Asian wife, mm. he most likely has pictures of other women's feet on his laptop. Yeah. I just don't, I don't get I don't the obsession with feet All because it's like walk. the dirtiest part of the body. And you don't like well, that. Well, you can say that about an asshole, too, but you... I'll put my tongue in an asshole. It depends. But I won't lick a foot. Yeah, and foot is, like, just sweaty and, like, on the dirt. Like, everything, like, ends up on the floor. Right, Goes and down. shit comes yeah. out of people's mo- asses. Gravity's a bitch. I like him. I don't know. Yeah, I like him. Yeah, he woke, like he lit- he woke yeah. up at 8 in the morning, gets up and goes, I want to suck on some feet today. So uh, people like that. They really do. <laughs> like, very ambitiously. Like, I'm mm. pretty sure he's going to be sucking on some feet today. Yeah. Oh, you said that today. Yeah, do you suck yesterday. on each toe individually, or do you just put the whole thing in your mouth? Um, yeah, it depends. Ooh. It depends how we're mm-hmm. doing. It depends how many drinks I've had, but yeah. So if you're less drunk, it'll be more individual. Based. God, you take your more time with the foot. Yes. Oh. So more the more alcohol, the more the foot. Is if in I've your mouth. had enough Casamigos, I'll, I'll have half a foot in my mouth at max capacity. Half a foot. Yes. Interesting. Not down to the heel, but the toes all half the whole top half. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I like that. It's good that you know. Yeah, I think I think that's I think that, that that's healthy that you explore that. You know, yeah, sure. It's better than other shit. You know, right? So what did we learn today, guys, on this lovely podcast? What's the opposite of of learning? I feel like I did that degrading, yeah, I think digressing. I you have you, CTE. You retracting. Yeah, I regressed yeah. today. What about a quote? What about get, what's your? You still um, give us a, a nice philosophy quote. That would be something nice. Oh, to yeah, learn. you're yeah. a fraud. We could we end the episode with a with some great yeah, with a quote. You know, I heard actually you're a big Bitch. Ryan Holiday, Marcus Aurelius guy. I love those guys, 100%. Mm. Do you have, first, do you want to speak on that and any any big major takeaways <laughs> from that? I love those guys. Um, Marcus Aurelius, I've never met. Right. Um, I'm Well, I'm Marcus Aurelius reincarnated. You are. You're the yeah. modern day. Yeah. Mm. Modern day Marcus Aurelius. Yeah. You're a fucking idiot. It's me. But anyway, continue. Say, hey, 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 Chris, it's me. <laughs> it's me. I'm the problem. It's me. I'm back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Marcus. Um. <laughs> I like them. I like, I like Stowe. I get it. I get it. You know, you can't get too crazy with it because then you just have, sometimes you can reverse and you find like you have like no will to live if nothing matters. But, um, but I, like I'm, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit. I, I like, I like a little bit of it. Well, that was, that was what was wrong with my writings back then was, um, that I was completely just off because I was basically saying that like fame is, no one's going to care about you when you die. And then like, you know, you got reincarnated. Yeah, well, like now everyone still talks about Marcus Aurelius, and his whole writings were okay. But he doesn't know that. Yeah, he didn't that's know what he was thing. talking it's about. Like, then. You know, I think I think at the I do know that though. That's true because it's mm-hmm. me. That's true. So I'm saying my writings were. Oh, right, 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 right. Because right. you're reincarnated as Marcus Aurelius. Yeah. I forgot that. Okay. Yeah, I respect that. Yeah. I, yeah. I um. It took me a while to figure it out. Do you think Mark, when you did you have when you were living 2000 years, years ago, did you have tattoos on your kneecaps? Yeah, it was a vibe. Sick. Did they say vibe? Oh, did you, then? what was it called yeah, when yeah. they fucked each other? Yeah. When they all fucked each Ancient other? Ancient band of Thebes. Yeah. Did you, did you join? Were you or in? Or sacred band of Thebes. Sorry. Um, I wasn't there. I wasn't there, but. It was dope, dude. Imagine like a nice barbecue, like a get together, just fucking your bros and just. Imagine ki- being killed like by a member of the ancient band of thieves. Like you get stabbed in the heart, and then the last thing that happens to you is just a drop of cum drips out of his asshole. <laughs> yeah, right. Right onto yeah. your forehead. And he's like, "Fuck you." Yeah, right. <laughs> and then that's the last moments of your life. Yeah. <laughs> right out of his butt. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. It's fucking wild, dude. Yeah. Some leftover. <laughs> yeah, just leftover. <laughs> you guys, um, are you guys going to be in New York on September twenty second and twenty third? No. Possibly. Um, no, but it sounds like you're going to plug a show. Well, I'll be at, if you are in New York and you want to see big groups of Puerto Rican people, gay people, and the NYPD, 
Come to Radio City Music Hall, September 22nd, and Theater at Madison Square Garden, September 23rd. Thank you. And you'll see me, Chrissy Celsius. So your show is tomorrow. Tomorrow. You have a tomorrow. show tomorrow. 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 ChrisDcomedy.com. Pull, pull up to his uh, show tomorrow Wait, in, New York, up, baby. in New York and, and go get the tickets. Uh, and, link and will be in the description. What's the website? ChrisDcomedy.com. Okay, you go there and you buy a ticket or you're racist. Yes, 100%. Or even if you are a racist, we still support. It's all the money, baby. I'm trying to, you know? Yeah. Shows in Vegas, whatever you guys want. That's a nice Come to Vegas. Are you rich? Doing a show at the Cosmo. Um, the, no. No, I'm not. Well, yes, I would say yes, but not because of money. Because of happiness. Oh, wow. Right. That, wow, that was the philosophy. There it is. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. That was great. I mean, That's subscribe it. to this bullshit show, BS yeah, with Jake please, Paul. Please. And uh, drink Celsius. <laughs> <laughs>